it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't. Okay. Okay, so he's at 63, 34. So then if he faces west... I want this to smelt the wood into charcoal. And one thing. This is coal. I'm going to have to switch this out for charcoal. I have to switch everything out for charcoal, honestly. Once this gets going. Anyway. Oh, it's nighttime. Alright, nearly done. Very nearly done. Um, here, have a bunch of coal. Right, give me a couple back. There you go. Um, that, my auto refuel thing should be on slot 16. Yes. Okay, good. So here, I have T face and shoot west is three. Well, maybe I'll remember those one day, but. Say unload. Uh, just unload. Fine. 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 And so we'll say here function unload. This is going to be. Getting rid of everything but saplings. So, for 1 to 15, I don't ever check that last slot. Um, and this will be actually, I'm going to do fuel pickup here at the same time. Okay, so um, actually, I don't. I don't need to do slot one either. And this is where I want compare two. I believe it is called. Oh gosh, this is going forever. Forever. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick test here. I did, um, you know, so I did some quick compare to testing to make sure I still remembered it correctly. It seems like I do, so I'm just going to go ahead and trust my memory on this one and say, turtle.select x if turtle.compare to slot 1 is false, then turtle.drop. And, okay, so I'll drop everything that's not saplings, then we do, we go down one, select 16, Drop turtle dot suck sixty four. Pull up a whole stack. And then one more thing. I don't think there's anything crazy that could get in here right now. Anyway, not back at right turn for x equals 2 to 15 
do dot select external dot drop unload everything that is junk or whatever and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it but it shouldn't ever well that's gonna drop extra saplings is really what that's gonna do could fuel it with extra saplings but that would need a lot of extra saplings hmm anyway so that's unload so then after unload and then it goes back to its starting place I think we're done Those are my functions. Main is in the face. All right. We're ready for a test. I don't believe it. At long last, Klaus. Klaus, are you ready? Are you ready for a big, big moment in your life, Klaus? Tree farm. Bam! He's going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, crud. Klaus, come back! Klaus! Oh. Well, he's going to start digging now. Shoot. Okay, i got to catch him. Oh, dang it! Klaus! Where are you, Klaus? There you are. Stop placing torches! Why can't I? Oh my god. Finally. <laughs> what? All right, I forgot to reboot him. Forward. What did he even go? Like. Ah, ah. Go ahead back through your little tunnel that you dug. I'm lucky I didn't get blown up on my way to, to stop him. Oh, shoot. Is he stuck on my torch? Stupid torches kept getting placed. <laughs> yeah, he's pushing the torch along. Okay, almost there. Just bring him back along this way. So, Klaus, hey. Where do you think you are? <laughs> you have no idea where you are, apparently. Oops. Let's just reboot, yeah? You're facing north. Okay, so now if I were to do, say, t.getx. No, that's wrong. Klaus, you're wrong. Okay, something wrong with my GPS. Um, nope. That looks good to me. So, let's see, how do I, uh, oh, did I never call an initialization or, oh, I guess not. I 
thought that was called on boot. Um, also, I'm forgetting to do my red net open and stuff like that, so yeah. Let's go ahead and run that on boot. Because that's something that should happen all the time. Alright. Klaus. Now I'm really not sure what's happening. I can't call that from an API. Would be nice if I could. So it's something I just have to call the beginning of the script, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I hate that. Huh. All right, fine. Fine. Tree farm. Got in it. Look. There. We'll do it that way. <laughs> Tree farm Klaus. B Klaus. He's whoa, he's starting. He's starting. Bam! Tree farm. That's awesome. How come Maggie moves down? He moves back along the side of him to avoid leaves. Oh, and he's gonna go where I'm standing. Ah! Who's over there? Does that whole row another row. Perfect. Perfect. Klaus the tree farmer. And then he's gonna go a little bit extra right here. But then he goes back to his spot. Faces north. And then he waits for a couple of minutes. And then he will go and do his, his sapling run. Which I am actually 